Okay, I'm back. It looks like my microphone is working. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay. The chat, chat should be open to everyone. Um, all I worry about is the bandwidth here. Much better. Okay, good, good. Good, good. Um, so poster sessions are, are going on strong here. And I squeeze my, my way into one. Here, here are some students that have a giant iPhone poster. So I want to I wanna check this out. <laughs> Hello. Would you guys mind being on camera? <laughs> it also might involve uh, holding a microphone, if that's okay. Can you tell me about, what, uh, about your poster? What, hashtag love, read, and share. Project. Oh, you're oh you're just hanging out at this one. All right, <laughs> is this one yours? Hi. Do you mind being uh, recorded, or you're being broadcasted now? So, all right. <laughs> so, um, introduce yourself, and I'll let you hold the microphone so I can check out your poster while you talk and, and tell us what you have here. Awesome. So, my name is Lucia Chidan. We're here from a school in Mexico, Guadalajara, Mexico, called Los Altos, and we're presenting eight different projects about literature, ecology, and biology, stuff like that. So the project we're presenting today, do you want to walk with me? Come with you. All right. So we created an app, and it, we, um, we linked it to Twitter, and it was the hashtag was love, read, share. And basically what we had to do was create a platform, sort of like Goodreads, but especially for our high school students, and show the books that we were reading through 9 through 12 and share them with reviews and whatever uh, relations we had to like other songs, movies, other books that we were reading and stuff like that. So they told us, we're not going to tell you what you're going to use. Just go find the software by yourselves. Make sure it's yeah. easy to use. Make sure it's free. And we created the app out of that. Oh, so what did you end up using to make the app? We used BuildFire. We used AppyPie, Mobbing Cube, and AppsBar. What's the biggest thing you learned from this experience? I think hands-on learning was definitely a thing because we've always been told like exactly what to do and how to do it. So we had to create tutorials out of like apart from the project we were doing, create tutorials for other people to know how we were using it and stuff like that. So, so how does that go when you're used to learning where the teachers right usually tell you Here, here's what you're doing, here's what you use. Was there some difficulty when well, you when it was open ended like that? Yeah, for sure, because we didn't know what we were doing or how to use it and stuff like that. So we just said, okay, we're gonna take what we can out of this and use it as much as we can of it. So maybe if the teacher was teaching us, there would have been some stuff that we wouldn't have been able to get by learning it on our own because we were just exploring different yeah. parts of the internet or whatever. So yeah, you learn you learn the, the stuff your teacher wanted you to learn, but so much more. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and we show we even showed the teacher because the teacher was the one that told us you go look for it and teach me. Now it's going to be the other way around. Yeah. So that was very fun to do. <laughs> awesome. So is this an app that people can download right now? Yeah, for sure. I'll show you the app. Is it we, in the app store? Or yeah. Is it a, oh, okay. Awesome. Kathy, all right, Pana, do you want to show him the app? Yes. Donde está tu celular? All right. So I'll, he's going to be your new. All right. <laughs> okay. Anna or Anna? How do you? Excuse me. For, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so, so people are watching right now. Um, okay. And what's the what's the name of the app if they want to look for it in the this app store? This one is called uh, Book. It's a uh, an app in Buildfire. So, do they download Buildfire or do they um, download uh, a, a specific app from the app store? No, actually, uh, when we made the app in Buildfire, they it's uh, it has a cost. I think it's one dollar mm -hmm. per app. And what we have to do is, we wanted to use Buildfire, so we uploaded the app of Buildfire. We enter our username there, and it's like a preview of the app. Uh, so other people can't get to the app? Is it just for... Uh, this one? No, but we have other ones in AppyPie or in Moving Cube that you can download right. in your cell phone. So different groups made different apps yes. when you're going through the Yes. Gotcha. Okay. We made like uh, 20 apps. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> was, there, was there one that, that kind of stood out? When you when you have twenty apps doing similar things, or were they they were all good? No, they were all good. I have that's, I that's have awesome. Two, uh, this one is the first one. The categories and talk about the books. Shakespeare, it's Hamlet here, 
you can uh, have the cover of the book, the review of the book, the argument, the relations, like uh, how movies are similar to this book, okay. what, which movies, or series, like Narnia, The Lion King, the... Um, so are those, those the movie previews that go with the movie related to the book? Yeah, actually, it's like the movie, like Star Wars, is a trailer of the movie, like to catch the idea, and then it yeah. says that it's like... Hamlet is about his father that is dead and the, uh, all the things. So how is it about, like, the book? So then you had to write all the content to put into this app. Yeah. Yeah, we write it. It's uh, all of, of ourselves. Okay. Then how long did it take to put this all together? Uh, it took, like, um, actually, it's not, uh, it's really simple. It's, like, two hours. Oh, so the app creation part wasn't the hard part yeah, when you're no, using, no, you no. said it's bookery you were using? Uh, no, For actually, this actually is a, the app creation is not really hard. The, the hard t thing is to make the reviews, to like to think about all the, th the movies that are related to the book. The hard part was thinking. I love it. <laughs> actually, <laughs> the technology may solve it for you. All right. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank is you. So you're, you're on the internet here and there's lots of hearts people are you know, they think this project's great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <very> much. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hey, Laura. Well, I'm glad I can take you around to some of the posters. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. I want to go to Holy C Collaboration Batman. They still have a, cl a crowd. There's, there's a web link, though, for you. So the app that, uh, for the, the students in Mexico that, that made their apps, uh, they, they, their teacher said just go out and make it and didn't tell them what to use. They had to discover it for themselves. So she listed several. She said them really fast, uh, but it seems like it turns out it wasn't important which app it was. Uh, build, yeah, Buildfire was one of them. Um, I thought I heard one say bookery or something, too. Um, but I love that she said wasn't, that part wasn't hard. It was the content that she was putting in there. Yeah, do it when I when I show you things up there, screenshots are probably the best way to capture that so you can come back to it later. So, am I an educator? Yeah, I'm a former 5th grade teacher. And now uh I work as a as a consultant and uh work with teachers and I'm here at ISTE Learning, and I've discovered that one of the best ways to learn is to bring some other people along with me. And here is one of my favorite people in the world, Dr. Alice Christie from Flagstaff, Arizona. She's my hero. I've got to work with her on a lot of projects, um, and we'll, we'll wait to talk to her because it will be so well worth it. Um, I'm not even sure if she's part of this poster or if she's just hanging out. <laughs> But I want to talk to her. <laughs> While we're waiting, we'll see what's on this big screen. We'll just we'll just eavesdrop. Hi, Alice. <laughs> A periscope hug, Can and people can't. Hug? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so you're live on the internet, if you don't mind. Great, no problem. I'm just showing off a Shutterfly Photo Story book, um, a great little app that that's made by Shutterfly, where kids can do writing, bring in pictures, do pic, um, do photographs themselves, and then feel great pride in publishing. So this one I love. He says, he, this was his biography. My name is Miles, and I'm 10. I want to be a famous baseball player. I'm sorry about this, but here's the la last fact about me. I really don't like school, except my honors classes. <laughs> and there he is. <laughs> and there he is. So, anyway, I'm just hanging out here. I actually did the research project for um, the pilot. They had about 40 teachers across the country 
a lot in Arizona, a lot in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and then I was the one that compiled all the data and wrote the research, the summary of findings. What, what, what's the big conclusion? The big conclusion is the best part of the project is the ownership and learning of the kids because they've got a published book that they can put on their bookshelf, put their hands on, and in this digital world, you can do these it's things. unusual. It's like, why are you holding a book? Like, you know, we, we think keeping things digital because you can share it, but having that physical tactile sensation, and that's what is important. That's what your research It's important to them. And we did a survey of the parents, and that was so important to the parents to see what they had produced and have this physical evidence that they could show, you know, their friends and relatives, look, Johnny did this little book. So um, they can publish digitally, and many of them do. And if you go to the QR code right here at the very, very end, uh -huh. you can, it will take you to the digital version of the book so that you can see it that way. The children can do audio and talk about it as well. But what we found was the kids' writing improved, their um, collaborative skills with their classmates improved because they needed to share iPads. Um, but the big deal was a physical book. Having something physical. That's that's awesome. I'm gonna flip them both okay. of you here. Say hi. There. There's a, you got a lot of love there. So so on Periscope comments pop up. Like you're getting some hearts now. Look, look, All, at, that. look at they love you. Oh my gosh, it's right going now. yes live. Yeah, there's 38 people watching. Um, Laura Sheehy's in there. Ryan Reed, and so we can see uh, that. So so one of them asked, how much does does it cost to to have one of those books? That's a the good app question. The is free. The app is free, and it's, it's just cool. and it's just through the Shutterfly app. Yes, it's called Shutterfly Photo Story. It's it's free. There's a QR code right over yonder if you want to download it. All right, there's a link. I'll go um, and but uh, the digital publication is also free. The books run anywhere from like seven dollars for a small paperback to more like fifteen to eighteen for. Let me show one of these. Ooh, hardcover. And this young woman is a a budding artist, and so. She did her eyebrows with words and her nose and even her earrings. And so, you know, you can see it's beautiful texture on the front cover and thick paper. And, and what would one of these cost, do you think, from Shutterfly? Like 15 to $18. Oh, that's still not bad. And so what we're finding is PTA will do a fund a little grant. So if Miss Smith in third grade wants to publish each one of her kids' books, PTA may say, okay, here's $300, or parents will often pay just for their own child's book. Um, so there's ways of, of making it happen without costing the schools an arm and a leg. That, that is awesome. So you, you did this research. Is that available anywhere? It is. It's online. Um, it's on the uh, Shutterfly Photo Story page. It's it's also on my ISTE page. So if you go to alicechristie.org. alicechristie.org. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> and go to workshops and go to ISTE, you'll see my whole Shutterfly thing. It'll say, here's a link to the uh, research summary. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to look at some books here. And yes. that, thanks for sharing, Alice. One one more uh, one more Periscope hug. Let's see, let's do it this way. Still learning the ends that. So let's see. Hug. I don't. That's what it's like to hug Alice on Periscope. That, that's a lots of lots of hearts. Hi, you guys who are following. Nice to see you. Uh, and I'll get so to see you next week. Oh, no. Yeah. Is it Monday? I think so. Yeah, we're we're talking about uh, doing a we do a tech camp together in Tucson, and uh, yeah, that's yeah. So we'll we'll get to see each other again. More hugs. Yes. So what are you doing? Just going around. Through ISTE for yeah, people. I just go through. Yeah, a lot of people who are, you know, hashtag not at ISTE uh, 2015 are, are tuning in. They can ask questions. Sometimes they tell me where to go in a nice way. In a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> and I've said what I like for, for myself is this really pushes me. I probably wouldn't have had this deep of a conversation and wouldn't ask the same questions. Um, except for I know there are 41 people watching, so um, it pushes me and gets me out of my shyness a little bit too so that's good you're shy oh i am i am i am i i it, but look oh we know what time it is
Do you know, you know, this is one of the things on my watch too. I put my ISTE schedule in there, so I can, I just at a glance, I can see like where I need to be, be next. Yeah. So I'm so excited. Yeah. They didn't have any in Arizona, so I had to come all the way to Pennsylvania to get my Apple Watch. So it's brand new. It's brand new, like four days old. Yeah. It It looks really good on you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I debated between various uh, bands. Then I, I ordered a third-party band, Red Leather, for a song. So when you see me flashing my red leather, you'll know. It's going to be great. <laughs> Thanks, Alice. <Bye> <laughs> All right, let's get this uh, little web link there if you want to take a screenshot of it. Isn't Alice great? She's always so fun and just knows her stuff and is excited. And, and this is really neat research about having a physical book. All right, so you can preview their students. Oh, here's the, it's shutterfly.com slash photo story classroom. And I believe Alice said they, they feature the, the research she was talking about right on there. And then there's a table of variously various published books. We're looking at them upside down, but <laughs> Hey, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, longer than forever. Do you still have the cats? I do, yeah. And I, I have I have humans now too. Uh twins. They're two and a half, a boy and a girl. Oh my God! You must just. I don't. I don't talk. I used to. So, so folks, well, I'm live broadcast. Um, oh, that, <laughs> I, I'm just walking around. This is the conference experience when you, and I can't. My arm isn't long enough. There you go. There you go. I need to grow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I used to talk uh, talk about cats all the time. Um, now it's kids. Now it's kids. Yeah. That's a, a gradual movement. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, as I wear my educator hat, but I'm wearing my parent hat. And I'm like, okay, my printing out some books real soon, even though they don't, they don't, yeah, it'll be pictures of them and we'll label things in our house and they'll love to flip through them. So it's, you know, it's good. I'd like to fill out the card for the 25 50 and $100 drawing. Ah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I enjoy the rest of your conference. I will. You too. Are you doing anything else or just the, the poster? Just the poster session, and then I'm going to be a participant in everything. And then, are you on? Are you on Twitter? Can people find you? People can fi find me on Twitter at Bel Air. Okay, so your school. My school's on Twitter. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you. <laughs> Some people get a little nervous on camera. You did great. <laughs> I know, and then you get that. <laughs> Just, uh, I should just add people and uh, people's names to the drawings there, and that fully participate in the conference experience. So, I don't know what time these posters end. It looks like some might be taken down, or maybe just that one. Let's see. Back to. Mystery Skype, let's go, let's go all the way down this way. Everybody's trying to figure out where they're going next. <laughs> to the Blogger Cafe. That's a little far away. I do plan to get there at some point. Because um, there should be some really, really neat people in there. We'll have a good time. Um, maybe after, I'm going, I'm going to a session at 1245. So maybe after that. So, oh, here is the Smash Pub. Let's see. This is poster 39. They even have a light-up sign. <laughs> oh, send me your crest via Twitter. I'll, I'll check that out. Oh, see, there's, there's a way to manage your ribbons on your tag is to <laughs> construct. So that's, that's a good STEM project right there. You don't have to trip over your tags when you can layer them up like that. <laughs> Hi. I am. Do you mind? All right. Do you want to take the microphone and tell us that this this is impressive? I feel like I'm in a pub right now, right? So we have a menu and everything else. We have a. All right. Well, welcome to our. Did you get a picture of our Smash Pub? 
It's the best mixed drink in town. And what we did is we are smashing apps. We are taking different apps and putting them together to create awesome projects. So that's what we did. So, for example, under our mixed drinks, we have one called The Traveling Artist, where we combine GarageBand, iMovie, and Erasma to come up with an awesome project. And you have one here, The Director. You're mixing Telegami and iMovie. Okay? So it's really cool. If you step over here, we have some examples of what it looks like. Thank you. And then we have a whole list of drinks. And don't forget to show us. Is your menu online? Um, yes, it is right here. If you share this QR code right here, you can get to it. Please go to it. All right. Okay. Oh, awesome. So that's the menu online. You have the menu, you have uh, everything. And these are our blogs right here. We all have individual blogs. You can look at our blogs. You're, you're Patricia Cooper. Are you I am right? Patricia Cooper, and here is my handle. <laughs> so thank you for coming. Oh, don't forget to show our drinks. We have the little drinks that you can have before you leave. All right? All right, thank you for staying. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Oh, smashing. Smashing. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, here with my microphone. <laughs> so, so I have one question for you. So this menu obviously then is presented to teachers, but not to students. Not to students. But as a teacher, you can come up with your own type of menu. Imagine creating a menu of different books that you want your students to read and you want them to use technology to create book reports. You can do, the, they can create a telegami of themselves. Then they can use iMovie and they can use video to record themselves reading the book. And then you mix it all together. Awesome. Uh, what, a, what a great idea. And it's fun coming up with the names, I bet. You had, you had some really creative ones. Aw, thanks for sharing. <laughs> well, that was cute. That menu was awesome. So hopefully th their link, if you didn't get a chance to see it, go to the ISTE poster sessions. Just go to the ISTE program and look up that one was called, again, the, the Smash Pub. And I bet their link is right there. Um, so that's awesome. Or uh, check on Twitter. Maybe somebody will be nice enough to, to post the link. Now it looks like we're about to have a rocket launch. <laughs> ah. So I, I saw this session or this poster session a little bit yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to talk to them. <laughs> hey Chris. <laughs> can I can I interview you? Oh sure. So this is this is live on Periscope right now. <laughs> I, we just saw you launch a rocket. Can you? <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Can you take the microphone and tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Sure. Um, my name is Chris. I'm on the actually the program team. I help set up and decide who is coming to all the posters. And this is my favorite part of the presentation or the entire conference because I get to um, basically see 398 sessions in just four days. So I, I, I can't see any other sessions because I'm working, but I get to see the best sessions in the world, including this one here. This is Chloe. Her dad is an awesome teacher, but Chloe is actually a better presenter than her dad. And she taught me how to make a rocket, and I made probably the coolest rocket. And I am just totally psyched that this is what's going on here. 
Well, thanks for sharing. It's always neat to see the perspectives. And, and I really am to join the poster sessions. I've been going around and taking people who aren't here to the posters, and they, they, we're all learning stuff as we go through. It's pretty fun. So <laughs> thanks. Well, despite my effort to charge my phone every chance I get, uh, I'm almost out of uh, charge. So it'll be about an end of this broadcast, and I'll, I'll plug back in. Um, this mic uses the lightning port, so that's great because it's digital, but it also means that I, I have no hope of charging while I'm using the microphone or while I'm periscoping, but uh, that's okay. Uh, it's, I, I don't know how long periscope broadcasts are supposed to be. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe five minutes, and mine end up being a half hour. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it was uh, nice seeing you, and I will see you later.